Hello, this is Matt from Infinite Gaming for You. Today I'll be showing you how to use your Mac as a wireless adapter for the Xbox 360. So, basically what we're doing is allowing your Xbox to connect to the internet via your Mac's Wi-Fi connection. So if you don't want to buy a wireless adapter, this is what you should do. So system preferences, then head over to sharing, then internet sharing on the left hand side. And where it says share your connection from, be sure to select Wi-Fi. And then you want to share it to the Ethernet port. Oh, and uh, I apologize for that little watermark thing in the, middle, in the middle of the screen. It's for the video converter I used. So, yeah, it may make it a little hard to see, but you get the idea. All right, so once you've done that, you can hit start and then go back to the control panel. Or Sorry, system preferences. Now go to network. Now select Wi-Fi and go down to advanced. Then select TCP IP settings. And be sure to record your subnet mask, which in most cases will be 255.255.255.0. And your router IP address, which will be different from mine, but write it down because it's important. So once you've done that, then I'd say you're pretty much done on the Mac. So this is 10.7 Lion, and this is, this will work on the newish dashboard too. So also, if you if you have if you've connected your Xbox to your router before, you may not need it. So once you've done the Mac stuff, you can just go. All right, so plug one end of the Ethernet cable into your Xbox's Ethernet port, and the other end into your Mac's Ethernet port. All right, so now we're going to start up the Xbox. And, oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, I do own a legit Resident Evil Edition Xbox, 120 gig. It's probably one of my favorite Xboxes. Like I, I wouldn't. I'd rather have it than a slim. It's just as reliable, and I'm fine with 120 gig storage. All right, so now we're going to go to our settings, uh, network settings. Now select wired network. Now configure network, and manually enter IP address settings. So IP address, you want to put in your router's IP address but add one add two to it. So if it's one point nine or one nine two point one six eight point one point one, make it one point nine point or whatever. Just make it add two. And your subnet mask should be the two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And then DNS settings would be your router IP address unmodified for both the primary and the secondary server. And once you have entered that information in, you're going to want to go to Test Xbox Live Connection. So, oops. Now, it may give you a little warning that says that your internet connection isn't the optimal speed or there's some little thing holding it back. Just disregard that because it doesn't matter. I've had almost no problem playing Call of Duty because that's mostly what I play. It's really like the only game I have. Well, I have, I have like, I have older games, but Call of Duty is really the only new one I have like within the past few months. So now just go sign into your profile. And I have a little clip at the end just showing you that it's fine without all right, or playing multiplayer in Call of Duty is fine with this connection, so. All right. My gamer tag is Reign of Babies, so feel free to message me on Xbox Live. I may not respond, because I don't, I don't go on, like, all the time, but when I'm on, I'll respond, so. Yeah. Yes, like, rate, subscribe to our channel.
and I'll see you guys later. Kill confirmed. Delta team, you are clear to engage. Heads up, enemy UAV spotted. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. 